Cleaning up my junk? Yep. Good job. Yeah. I can pick up one of my junk. A tiny one. Alright, hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm, and this is the first video on our new camera. <laughs> and we have a project today. <laughs> Kelsey has too many goats, and this is the mess they made. <laughs> so all winter she's been feeding them outside, and they have about three foot of hay. Hello, we buy a dog! They have about three foot of hay built up, and there is no way to get in here easily to clean it. Hello, unless we. Buy a dog use a shovel, which we do not want to do. The plan is to build a round bale feeder that I can just drive in and set down and then have this finished off fencing on each side of it. And then I'll be using these cattle panels to use as the fence and be able to remove the cattle panels easy and clean out the pen. The problem is it is on a slope so we'll have to work around that. Probably have to flatten it a little bit, which isn't a big deal.
Alright, so I'm going to put a back on this. I'll be able to drive the bale in this way. I want the goats not to be able to get it at it from this way. So I'll have the boards come up to about here. And I'm going to use these 1x6s. I don't even need to secure them. So I'll have removable panels. I'll be able to get the tractor in to scoop out, scrape out the waste hay from each side. It'll be a little bit tricky on this side because of the, the terrain. But if they build up a shelf of hay, that's fine. Since I'm an, such an engineer, I'm actually just going to drive a round bale in here and then figure out where I need to put a support and then make like a V here with slats so that goats can put their paws up on the boards and then have the slats so they just can't jump in there and pull everything out. I'm going to use these eye hooks to secure this panel and use carabiners to hook to the feeder and then to the post back there so then it'll be easy to take these panels off to clean out the goat pen. do the roof. I'm not going to have time to do that today. But a couple more carabiners. In theory this should work. I might have to put a board across the bottom to secure that so they can't bend that out, especially on this longer run, which won't be a big deal. But in theory that should work. All right, day two of the build. I'm just gonna finish the roof on this. Of course, the first night after I did put this in, it rained. And we're supposed to get more rain this weekend, so I do wanna get the roof on this today. And at the end here, I'll show you after a week how well this has worked as far as the goats wasting hay. So, so far, so good. there we have it. it's all buttoned up at least the top of it's going to be protected from the rain and snow but just take a look at this is after a week very minimal hay waste 
told the kids all they need to do is come in here with a rake and rake this up once a week. Um, you better hurry up and get this grain before they knock it over. So much. This is nice. Yeah, this is gonna make everything easier. Maybe we'll actually be able to get away for a weekend this summer. Looks like get carried away. <laughs> so nothing real special. Didn't spend a lot of money. I had a lot of scrap wood laying around. The tin was reused from a different project. So it's good enough for who it's for. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you on the next one.